Hey everybody, Arn here at the Utah studio for chess.com. And uh, while I'm here, I wanna show you some stuff. Sorry about my beard uh, and my hat and my uh, face. Okay, so you're streaming and you wish you had more information about how your computer is performing while you're live. Uh, well, I found a really cool tool that I actually started to use on my production PC that I use for work. And uh, it's this really awesome thing on the side here, you can see it on the right, that shows all kinds of things. Performance of my CPU, my RAM, my GPU, and even my network in and out. And you can get this on GitHub. Uh, it is called Sidebar Diagnostics, and uh, I'll put the link in the description of this video. And you just simply grab the zip, and when you open that up, you'll get this folder full of crap just uh, copy everything over to somewhere on your PC, and then you're gonna run this sidebar diagnostics.exe. It was super, super easy to set up. And once you're in there, you can choose uh, all kinds of stuff. You click the little gear, you can decide which monitor you want it on, you can decide what side of your monitor, left or right. Uh, you can do all kinds of other stuff, like resizing the UI. You can also uh, decide all kinds of other stuff like, well, what is the data you do and don't wanna see here? I didn't really need to see my drive performance, so I just unchecked that. And then you click Save and Apply, and it'll apply your changes. What I really like about this is that I usually keep OBS on my right-hand side monitor, and so I just put it on that monitor. That way it's near all of uh, everything that's going on with my production. Uh, it does take up some of your monitor space. You'll notice that OBS, even though it's maximized, is not also resting behind this. So that's one thing to keep in mind. It's gonna steal some real estate, but I think it's well worth it. And because the OBS window is dynamically resizing itself, it's not a big deal. I still get everything where I want it. Now, the other thing that I wanna show you, and some of you are gonna say, well, you know, the fact is that you already have a lot of useful info in OBS, and that's true. You have this area here that's a stats doc, and if you don't have that and you want it, you come up to the top, you click view, and then docs, and then stats. And it's gonna give you all kinds of cool stuff. The CPU usage of OBS, and I wanna point out that this is of OBS, right? It's not your total CPU usage, like you would see in this new toolbar that I just gave you. But it gives you a sense of how much demand OBS is is asking of your uh, computer. But this is pretty fantastic because it's gonna show you whether you're hitting your target frames per second, it's gonna show you what your total data output is, whether you're dropping frames, uh, skipping frames, and then you'll know, well, is it because of encoding lag, rendering lag, it tells you, okay, it's because your CPU or because your GPU is not performing like it should for the output that you're trying to get. It even gives you colors on some of that data. So when things are not so great, it might turn orange or red to draw your attention. Once you resolve the issue, if you don't wanna see those, uh, those red colors anymore and you wanna reset the stats as if you're starting the stream over, you can just click the reset button and it will zero out all of this information here, uh, which is great because then you get the feeling that you've got a fresh start now that you've dealt with the issue. But there you go, that's uh, some quick and easy things that you can do to kind of just increase the information that you can see on your screen when you're producing your own stream or producing shows uh, for others that you've got all that data at your tink that you've got all that information at your fingertips right you don't have to control alt delete and open the task manager and look through all of that you just get a very simple presentation of the information that you want and uh, what's really cool is that that sidebar setup it demands only something like 0.1% of your CPU. So it's not gonna tax your system to have that stuff up in front of you. So hopefully that was uh, useful stuff. The link to that sidebar will be down in the description below the video here on YouTube. And uh, hey, if this was useful to you, consider hitting the subscribe button, maybe even share it with some other people that uh, may find this useful as well. So until next time, uh, the awkward sign off thing. Welcome, and thanks for calling the RN Hawaii YouTube hotline. In a few words, tell us what you're calling about. You can say things like, My stream won't start, or, How did you do that thing with your webcam? I'm sorry, I didn't get that.
Press zero to reach an operator who can assist you.